Now, we need to subtract using column subtraction, but for these questions, we'll need to exchange across zero. That means when we need to exchange and we go to the left, we'll have a zero, so we'll need to go to the left again and exchange more than once. So first, we have 10,005 minus 5,245. So we've set the question out with our digits lined up on the right hand side. 5 minus 5 is 0, but now we have a 0 minus 4. Now 4 is larger than 0, so we need to exchange, but when we go to the left, we have a 0. So we need to go to the left again, but we still have 0. So we need to go all the way over to this 1 in our 10,000s, and 1 less, 1 in front. Then we need to exchange again. 1 less than 10 is 9, so now we have a 1 to put in front of our hundreds digit. But we need to exchange one more time, so 1 less than 10 is 9, and then we have a 1 to put in front of our tens digit. So now we have 10 minus 4, which is 6, 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 5 is 4, and now 0 minus nothing is 0. So our answer is just 4,760. Now 166,005 minus 85,936. We can't do 5 minus 6 using column subtraction because 6 is larger than 5. When we go to the left we have a 0 and then we go to the left again and we have another 0. So we need to go to the left once more, all the way over to our thousands digit. Now 1 less than 6 is 5, and that gives us 1 to put in front of our hundreds. But now 1 less than 10 is 9, and we have 1 in front of our tens, and then we need to exchange once more. So 1 less than 10 is 9, and now we have a 1 to put in front of our ones digit. So we have 15 minus 6. That's 9, and now 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 9 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, we can't do 6 minus 8, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 16 minus 8 is 8, and now we have 0 minus nothing, so that's 0, which means our answer is 80,069. Now, 404,004 minus 35,488. 8 is larger than 4, so we go to the left, we have a 0. Go to the left again, we have another 0, so we go to the left for a third time. 1 less, 1 in front, then again, 1 less, 1 in front, and again, 1 less, 1 in front. So now, 14 minus 8 is 6, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 4 is 5, we can't do 3 minus 5 using column subtraction, and we go to the left and we have a 0. So we go to the left again, 1 less, 1 in front, and again 1 less than 10 is 9, and that gives us 1 to put in front of our thousands digit. So we have 13 minus 5, which is 8, 9 minus 3 is 6, and 3 minus nothing is 3. So our answer is 368,516. Now for our last question, we have 392,003 minus 139,549. 9 is larger than 3, so we go to the left, we have a 0, Go to the left again, we have a zero, so we go to the left again. One less, one in front, one less, one in front, and again, one less, one in front. 13 minus 9 is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 5 is 4. We can't do 1 minus 9, so go to the left, one less, one in front. 11 minus 9 is 2. 8 minus 3 is 5, and 3 minus 1 is 2. That gives us 252,454. Now to understand why this method works, let's show place value counters. 
So for the first question, we had 10,005. That's one 10,000 and five ones. First, we subtracted five ones to get zero ones in our answer. But then we didn't have any tens and we needed to take four tens away. So we needed to exchange and then exchange again and then exchange for a third time. So we can exchange our 10,000 place value counter for 10 thousands. Then we can take one of those thousands and exchange it for 10 hundreds. And then we can take one of our hundreds and exchange that for 10 tens. So now notice we don't have any 10 thousands because we exchanged our 10 thousands counter for 10 thousands counters. Then we took one of those thousands counters and exchanged it for 10 hundreds. So that means we have nine thousands. But then we took one of our hundreds counters and exchanged that for 10 tens. So now we can take four tens away to get six tens in our answer. We can subtract two hundreds to give us seven hundreds. And we can subtract one, two, three, four, five thousands to give us four thousands in our answer. Then we had 166,005, which we've shown here using place value counters. First, we needed to subtract six ones. We can subtract five ones, but then to subtract a sixth one, first we need to exchange one of our thousand counters for ten hundreds. Then we can take one of our hundreds and exchange that for ten tens, and then we can take one of our tens and exchange that for ten ones. Remember, we've already subtracted five ones, so to subtract six ones, we need to just subtract one more one, and that means that we have nine ones in our answer. But notice, because we exchanged, we now have only five thousands, nine hundreds, and nine tens. So then we subtracted three tens to give us six tens in our answer. We subtracted all nine of our hundreds, and that meant the hundreds digit of our answer was a zero. Then we subtracted five from our five thousands, and that meant we had zero as the thousands digit of our answer as well. Now we needed to subtract eight ten thousands. We can subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, then take our hundred thousands counter and exchange, then we can subtract seven, eight. So that leaves us with eight as the ten thousands digit of our answer. And because we exchanged, we don't have any hundred thousands. So our answer is 80,069. Then we had 404,004, which we've shown here using place value counters. First, we needed to subtract eight ones. To do that, we needed to exchange one of our thousands for ten hundreds, then exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens, and then exchange one of our tens for ten ones. So we can subtract one, two, three, four of our ones, then we can exchange, then exchange again, and then exchange again. So we've subtracted four ones, we need to subtract another four, so we've subtracted eight ones altogether, and that means that we have six ones in our answer. Now, because we exchanged, we have nine tens, and we need to subtract eight of those tens to leave us with just one ten in our answer. And we have nine hundreds now, because we exchanged, we can subtract four of those hundreds to give us five hundreds in our answer. But now, because we've exchanged, we have three thousands, but we need to take five thousands away. To do that, we needed to first exchange one of our hundred thousands for ten ten thousands, and then exchange one of our ten thousands for ten more thousands. So we can subtract three thousands, then exchange one of our hundred thousand counters for ten ten thousands, and then take one of our ten thousands and exchange that for ten thousands. So now 
We've subtracted three of our thousands, so to subtract five, we just need to subtract two more, and that means we have eight as the thousands digit of our answer. So now, because we exchanged, we have nine ten thousands, and we need to take three away. That means that we have a six as the ten thousands digit of our answer, and we weren't subtracting any hundred thousands, so we still have three hundred thousands. Then we had 392,003, which we've shown here with place value counters. But first, we needed to subtract 9 ones, but we only had 3 ones. So to do that, we first needed to exchange one of our thousands for 10 hundreds, then exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens, then exchange one of our tens for 10 more ones. So we can subtract 1, 2, 3 ones, then exchange, then exchange again, and then exchange for a third time. So because we've already subtracted 3 ones and we want to subtract 9, let's subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 more ones, and we can see that we now have 4 ones, so 4 is the ones digit of our answer. Now, because we've exchanged, we have nine tens, and we need to take four tens away. When we do that, we have five as the tens digit of our answer. Onto our hundreds, we have nine hundreds, and need to take five away. When we do that, we're left with four hundreds. But now, because we exchanged, we only have one thousand, but we need to take nine thousands away. To do that, we needed to exchange one of our ten thousands for ten more thousands. So we can subtract one thousand, then exchange, then subtract two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that leaves us with two as the thousands digit of our answer. Now we need to take away three ten thousands to give us five as our ten thousands digit. And we need to take away 100,000 to give us 2 as the 100,000th digit of our answer, 252,454.